Hello dear all welcome to Sandeep Education Academy I am Santosh Wal here we will see questions under try this section page number 100 of chapter 6 squares and square root so let's start our video and see how to find square roots by repeated subtraction method now see the question under try this section page number 100 chapter 6 squares and square root question is given by repeated subtraction of odd numbers starting from 1 and starting from 1 find whether following numbers are perfect squares or not if the number is a perfect square then find its square root we know there is one rule what that rule says sum of the first n odd natural numbers in square i will write here what this says sum of first n odd natural numbers is n square and also if a natural number cannot be expressed as a sum of successive odd natural numbers starting with 1 then it is not a perfect square now let's see the meaning of this see if we know a small number 16 is a perfect square and it is a square of 4 but how 16 is written it can be written as a sum of natural odd numbers starting with 1 if we add 1 plus 3 plus 5 what this plus 7 then we get 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 7 16 means if we add first four first four odd numbers natural odd numbers starting with 1 we get 16 similarly if number 25 is there it is a square of 5 means if we add first five odd numbers starting with 1 means 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 we will get 25 this is the meaning of this this is the meaning of this statement sum of first n first n means first five first five odd natural numbers is n square first means starting with 1 this is the meaning of this and reversely we can say if number is not express if the number cannot be expressed as a sum of successive odd numbers starting with 1 then it is not a perfect square if we take 24 it cannot be expressed as a sum of this because if we express 24 we will write here 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus here we have to write 8 and because 8 8 is not a odd number so any square number can be expressed as a sum of odd natural numbers starting with 1 and if number is not if number it is not possible to express sum of odd natural numbers starting with 1 then it is not a perfect square that is the meaning of this and we will use this theorem to solve our these problems now see the let now see the number 121 if we subtract see here if we subtract these odd numbers starting with 1 from 16 we will get answer 0 just see if we sub subtract 16 minus 1 we get 15 if we subtract 15 minus 3 we will get 12 12 minus next odd number 5 we will get 7 and 7 minus 7 0 because these are the odd numbers starting with 1 we are subtracting 1 by 1 and finally we will get 0 because it is this number this number this number is a summation of odd numbers starting with 1 so if reversely if we subtract the odd numbers starting with 1 we must get 0 so this theorem we will use to solve this problem now see the first number first number is 121 so for 121 start subtracting it by first odd number 1 so we will get 120 then 120 minus next odd number is 3 we will get 170 then 117 minus next odd number is 5 so we will get 112 then 112 minus next number is 7 so we will get 105 105 minus next odd number is 9 After seven, next odd number is nine. We will get ninety-six. The ninety-six minus next odd number is eleven. We get eighty-five. Then eighty-five minus next odd number is seventy. Next odd number is thirteen. 
11 13 we get 72 then 72 minus after 13 next one number is 15 we get 57 then 57 minus next one number is 70 we get 40 and 40 minus next one number is 19 we get 21 and 21 minus after 19 next one number is 21 we get 0 as we are getting answer 0 121 this 121 number is perfect square because we are subtracting odd numbers step by step consecutive odd numbers starting with 1 and meaning of this is summation of all these odd numbers will be 121 that is the meaning of this and what is next next are if the number is perfect square now this is perfect square then find its square root then what is the square root we have also find in the example we have seen that for getting 16 we have to add first four numbers it is a square of 4 to get 25 we have to add first five numbers it is a square of 5 means how many numbers we are adding we must count and that count is the square root of this number so for getting 121 we are adding how many steps we are done 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 we have done 11 steps 11 steps are there so square root of this square root of 121 will be 11 just count the number of steps that is that number of steps is the square root of this number similarly see the next question next uh, number 55 take 55 this second number we have seen 121 is a perfect square now see the 55 now start subtracting odd numbers starting with 1 55 minus 1 we will get 54 then 54 minus next odd number is 3 we will get 51 and 51 minus next odd number is 5 we get 46 and 46 minus next odd number is 7 we get 39 then 39 minus next odd number is 9 we get 30 then 30 minus next odd number is 11 we get 19 and 19 minus next odd number is 13 we get 6 then 6 minus next odd number is 15 here we are getting negative value as we are not getting number 0 we are getting negative so it is not a perfect square are you getting we are starting subtracting odd numbers starting with 1 and we are not getting number 0 so it is not a perfect square now see the next one next number is 36 start with odd number 1 36 minus 1 we get 35 then 35 minus next odd number is 3 so we get 32 then 32 minus 5 we get 27 then 27 minus next odd number is 7 so we get 20 and 20 minus next odd number is 9 we get 11 11 minus next odd number up to 9 is 11 we get 0 here we are getting number 0 at the end means 36 is a perfect square now what is the square root of this square root of 36 will be number of steps how many numbers numbers of steps are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 steps means square root square root of this 36 is 6 so this is our answer to get to find the square root of this number just subtract the odd number starting with 1 and if we get number 0 at the end then count the number of steps here we here we perform number 6 steps 1 2 3 4 5 6 steps so square root of 36 is 6 now see the next number 49 we know 
49 is a perfect square and it is a square of number 7 so we have to perform 7 steps starting with 1 so let's tally our answer 49 minus 1 we will get 48 then 48 minus 3 we will get 45 45 minus 5 we will get 40 then 40 minus 7 we will get 33 then 33 minus 9 we will get 24 and 24 minus 11 we will get 13 and 13 minus this 11 after the 11 next order number is 13 so we are getting number 0 here as we are getting number 0 this is a perfect square and what is the square root of this count the number of steps 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 means square root of 49 is equal to 7 so it is very simple method but it is useful for small numbers only this is a theorem because if we add odd numbers starting with 1 then we get a perfect square numbers at any stage and just count the number of odd numbers we have added that is the square root of that sum see the next one 90 for 90 again start with 1 90 minus 1 we get 89 89 minus 3 next odd number is 3 we get 86 then 86 minus 5 by looking 89 we know it is not a perfect square number because perfect square number is 81 and after 81 81 is a square of 9 and after 9 10 square is 100 so 90 is not a perfect square so we must not get 0 by subtracting odd numbers we must get some negative value just try just see 86 minus 5 it will be 81 then 81 minus 7 we will get 74 then 74 minus 9 we will get 65 and 65 minus 11 we will get 54 and 54 minus next order number is 13 we get 41 and 41 minus next order number is 15 we get 26 then 26 minus next order number is 17 we get 9 and see 9 minus next order number is 19 so here we get 10 minus 10 we are getting now negative value so 90 is not a perfect square and also we know 90 is not a perfect square so this is this method is called as a repeated subtraction of odd numbers starting with 1 I will again repeat that sum of the first n odd natural numbers is n square means start adding the odd numbers starting with 1 we always get a perfect square number and that perfect square number is the square root of number of odd numbers number of odd numbers we have added this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you